Hi everyone. Are you a mom that feels like your adult child blames you for everything that has gone wrong in their life? You're not alone in this and I want to talk about that today. But first, I just want to introduce myself for those of you that are brand new to my channel. My name is Sally Harris and I am a mom who walked a difficult road with my own daughter for over 10 years. And while her life spiraled, so did mine. And so I welcome you. Um, I hope you subscribe to my channel and get some blessings out of these videos. So let's dive into this subject. You know, that is one thing um, when your child blames you for everything, it feels overwhelming, right? So I have a couple tips for you today, um, things to focus on for that, because I want you to, I want to go back to, first of all, how we need to first and foremost reflect on our own actions, because we can only change ourselves, we can only control control ourselves. And while neither you or your adult son or daughter can change what has what they've said or what they've done, nothing, we can't go backwards, right? So you're, they're not gonna change anything. But moving forward, that's what you need to focus on. So I want you to think about, I want you to reflect on your own actions. Is there some patterns or um, habits that may contribute to, you know, are, you know, arguing with your adult child or something that you can identify that could help with communication with your adult child. So there's many of those things that we all have in our lives that whether we realize it or not really does play a factor in this. This doesn't take away the pain of feeling like everything is your fault. And I know you might be feeling that way at times. Um, it's something that over time you can heal from, you can get through this. But I just want you to know that nothing is 100% your fault. Nothing is 100% my fault. It's impossible, right? So there's always more factors going on. But again, I want you to look at yourself. We can, You can look at your son or daughter all day long and, and name a, a laundry list of things that you see wrong or, or things that they blame you for or the things that they've said or done. But none of that is going to help you move forward, okay? I'm not saying forget about it and pretend it didn't happen but we need to be able to move forward. So secondly, I want you to do your best to foster and basically, you know, have respectful com respectful communication when you're talking with your um, with your child. Why? Because you, what comes out of your mouth is your responsibility. What comes out of their mouth is their responsibility. You don't have to, uh, what do they say? You don't have to participate in every fight you're invited to. And with our adult kids who are having issues in one way or another, those types of invitations come frequently sometimes, right? They, they always want us to participate so they can turn around and blame us for how we reacted to, you know, their insult or whatever. Um, so anyway, I would encourage you to think about open and honest dialogue. I want you to think about how you say things. I suggest, you know, using I statements instead of we, um, you know, Instead of saying you, you hurt my feelings when you did this. Rather, you could say, I felt hurt because X, Y, Z, because this was said. Because when you're using I statements, someone can't argue with you. Well, they can, <laughs> they can, but they don't have a leg to stand on because you're not accusing them of anything. You're just stating how you feel. And if they're still gonna blame you for that, that 100% has more to do with them than anything else. And we all know that, right? It's hard to see it. It's through the lens of a mom, though. It, that's the difficult part here. Um, also, I want you to remember to encourage for them personal responsibility. So maybe you have a son or daughter that's living at home or they're on their way out or maybe you're still really helping them a lot. You're enabling them. You're providing all the financial assistance to them. You want to help them know that they're responsible for their own choices, their own actions, their own words, their own emotions, everything. And by mom and dad, really, by parents being able to encourage that, even if you've been enabling them for so long, make that plan to kind of cut the tie that way. It doesn't have to be all at once. That's a whole nother lesson. But um, that is something that a lot of my moms that I work with have to do and they don't want to cut it off all at once. And I 100% agree with that unless there's drugs involved and that's a whole nother story. But I want you to encourage your, your kids to take ownership of their own behaviors. Um, while you're going through all of this, 
uh, there's just a lot, a lot to process. And actually, I just want to share with you here that um, on May 12th, Friday, May 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern, if you are interested, I am having a live free event. You can click the link below. Um, and that is going to be, you can register for the free live event. Um, you just put in your email and I'll be able to send you all the things. Um, it is around freeing yourself from the pain, guilt, and fear around this estrangement or around the defiance, around these shaky relationships with your adult kids. So I invite you moms to join me. Like I said, free live event Friday, May 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern. So I can't wait to see you there. Um, but the last, the last tip I have here is really around self-care. And honestly, coming to my event is, is a form of self-care. Getting out there and sharing your story with others who can help you, who can empathize with you, and who can love you through it. I want you, I encourage you, and I would love for you to, you know, find the activities that bring you joy. Practice self-care and seek support. It is so crucial. Both of those, the support piece and the self-care piece. And, you know, self-care doesn't just mean massages and, you know, facials and all of these things. That's not what this is about. I'm talking about taking care of your mind, taking care of your body and your spirit. And for everybody, that looks a little bit different. But you know what you need. And if you don't, I can help you with that too. So we will we will work on that together. But that is something that you really, um, it's really important to be able to Focus on so you can get stronger. So the re so you get stronger. You're, um, they're blaming you for everything, but you know what? You're going to be able to be stronger with your comebacks um, and not as volatile because a lot of times these arguments happen when we're when we're starting these. Uh, you know, when one person's getting blamed for everything, the other person gets on the defense, and no there's nothing good that comes out of it. There's nothing good that comes out of those conversations. So you have to control your piece. They have to control theirs. But in the meantime. I hope this helps. So I look forward to seeing you at the live event. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can post any questions below, but the link to sign up will be below as well. And I'll see you next time.